Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. I'm looking at a propeller balancer. These are really, really useful bits of kit because if you have a propeller that's unbalanced, then your model will not fly as well. You waste energy in vibration. Vibration wears out motor bearings. Vibration causes wires to bend and flex and eventually break. So really, you should do yourself a favor and get one of these. Um, they're really cheap and even the cheapest ones are better than nothing. This is a really really cheap one from China. It is a magnetic one which means basically see this here isn't actually touching there. It's actually suspended magnetically between two magnets and it has a tapered end on each end so there's a very little friction involved and it will turn easily which means when you put a propeller on there the amount of weight of the propeller alone is enough to cause it to drop one blade if it's heavier. So I'm going to put a propeller on here. This is a DAL 6x4. I've done some testing of the cut down versions here and the reason I'm doing this video is because I found something interesting. Now this is the reverse rotation uh, 6x4 DAL propeller. Straight out of the box. Let's put it on here and see what it looks like. Well, that's pretty well balanced. I'll put it this way so you can see. That is pretty well balanced. You can see that it really, you know, it's just sitting there. That's nicely balanced. That's actually really, really good for an out-of-the-box propeller. I'm so impressed with the balance of that prop. Now, of course, there's also the reverse rotation. So let's put the reverse rotation one on and see how well that balances. Because, you know, on a multi-rotor, you've got to use one of each. And here we go. Oh, excuse me while I change this out of shot. It's quicker than farting around in front of the camera. Here we go. Radio. So here is the here is the 6x4 reverse rotation. Let's take a look at that. Oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> that is bad. That is very, very bad, actually. And uh, I've just, the reason I noticed this was because I cut down one of these propellers to 5.4 as I was going to put some more of these on my mini quad. And I started balancing, balancing, balancing. And hang on, I found, I've actually, this one here, the heavy blade is now two millimeters shorter than the light blade, and it still doesn't balance. That's really, really bad. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I've got one here, which is the um, the green one. I don't know. It shouldn't change from color to color because effectively all they're doing is changing the plastic. So if the dies are made properly, it should be the same either way. Now, I'm just going to measure this one. Um, and this one is 5.8. And I'm going to measure the other side. Excuse me while I do this out of shot. I should have done it beforehand. OK, this is crazy. This one balances and the blades are of equal length. This one obviously is imbalanced from the start. So one thing to be aware of is that just because one prop balances doesn't mean the next one will. They don't just have one injection mold for these things. They have a molding plate which has many, many propellers in it usually. So some of them will probably balance, some of them won't. But I mean, that is just my goodness. And unfortunately, you know, you run a problem. I should talk about balancing in another video, but very quickly, just very quickly, normally we balance a prop by removing some material from the heavy end, a blade that's heavier, just remove a bit of material. The problem is that there are two forms of balance with propellers, the static balance and dynamic balance. And there's a big difference between the two. To draw the obvious extreme, imagine if I cut one blade off here and just stuck a hunk of lead on there. Obviously, I could get it to balance because the lead would counteract the weight of the big long blade there. But when I powered it up, there'd be a lot of vibration because the thrust vector would be offset. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to put a bolt through here so you can see what I'm talking about. Now imagine one blade is missing. Well, you don't have to imagine when I fly. Usually I come back and one's missing. Um, if, this, if this blade wasn't here, only this one was lifting, then it would be trying to sort of pull the whole prop around. And as the prop rotated, it would put a sort of a spirally, squirrely motion on the shaft, which would create vibration, which is why we generally have two blades, even though they're less efficient than one blade. So you can get the static balance dead right, but the dynamic balance, if that's out, you'll still get vibration. So simply trimming the, lot, the, the heavy blade, as I've done here, until it's too short, may give you a static balance, but your dynamic balance is going to be out and you'll still get vibration. So what do you do? Well, you know, as I say, there's another whole video balancing props, but this is a mini quad. So it's a bit of a dilemma, really, because in most cases, the vibration doesn't really matter. No one ever bothers balancing, you know, these 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 ones or the gym fans because they're really light. The propellers themselves are really light. These ones are getting a bit heavier because they've got more plastic in the hub and they've got bigger blades. So they reach a point where balancing becomes an issue because 
I know a few people have found that suddenly their quads start pitching up, especially with the base flight, Nays 32 board running base flight. They'll be flying along and the quad will pitch up suddenly. And I've looked at this on a number of quads and I've tracked it down to vibration. It seems to be that when the quad enters a certain phase of motor RPMs, the vibration peaks and that means that suddenly the Nays board, the gyros get upset and it pitches the nose up. So you can't afford to have a lot of vibration on a mini quad if you want it to handle well. These props, as I say, the reverse rotation are fine, the clockwise rotation are really bad. I'm going to go through and I'm going to compare a bunch of them because I bought a bunch and I'll see if there's any difference. But so far, all the ones I've tested, the um, reverse rotation's fine, but the conventional rotation, it's like it's got a brick built into one of the blades. Not good DAL, not good at all. And I was right, the colour doesn't make any difference. As you can see, that's a green one, conventional rotation. It's, it's just not balanced. It doesn't seem to be quite as bad as the orange one, but it's still not balanced. So I'm now going to try the conventional rotation, or the reverse rotation on a green one and see if that's balanced. And uh, then we'll know it's a fault with the dies. And DAL really need to revisit this because it turns a, a great prop into a not so great prop. Yeah, that's, yeah. That is also a little unbalanced too, but nowhere near as bad. See if I get it. Yeah, so it is unbalanced, but it doesn't fall like a brick. In fact, one thing you have to do sometimes with a magnetic balance is turn things around because if the shaft becomes magnetized, no, this blade is still heavy, but nowhere near as heavy as on the orange prop, as you'll see. There we go, we just hold this there. Yep, so it, I'm gonna carry on chopping them down, but I am disappointed and uh, the green ones look, you know, as I say, the green one looks a little bit better than the orange one. But I bought a whole bag swag of the orange ones because um, I, in the past I found the orange plastic just seemed to be a little bit tougher than the green plastic. So, oh, never mind. Um, they're pretty cheap and certainly they are disposable. So thanks for watching. Question, comments, put them on the space under the video and I'll do my best to address them. If you've had experiences with the balance of these props or any other props, um, see that's not so far out that it won't stay there if I bend it over enough. So. Yeah, the orange ones, they're the bad ones. Never mind. Um, better clear the bench, get back to work. So, see you later. Bye for now.